Yet another one that no one really talks about, and to be honest, I don't really think anyone wants to talk about it because we're all kind of guilty. So this will be fun. Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Oh, it's hard to do that shoulder shimmy sitting on my bed. I know you might be thinking, Hiram, what are you doing on your bed? What's going on? So you wouldn't be asking this question if you watch my podcast because I always film my podcast videos in this bedroom. I'll talk about the reason I'm in my room soon, but it does have to do with today's video sponsor. Thank you so much, Sleep and Glow, for sponsoring this video. Stay tuned to learn more. Oh, let's talk about it since nobody else wants to. I want to share with you guys the five best ways to prevent premature aging that nobody talks about. Yes, we know the deal with retinol, exfoliation, facial treatments, but these, these are the very underrated tips that come in handy when it comes to preventing premature aging. Now are we all gonna age? Of course! It's one of the beautiful things of life, but premature aging is the unnecessary signs of skin damage that showcase themselves through early onset signs of aging. Wrinkles, fine lines, skin sagging that show up way earlier than they're supposed to because of the skin damage. AKA me already developing wrinkles at 16 years old way earlier than I was supposed to. That's my qualifications for this video. I've been through the ringer when it comes to premature aging. And I want to share some very underrated tips that help to prevent premature aging. So let's get into it. Disclaimer as I start this video, I think these are really easy ways to help prevent unnecessary skin damage through premature aging, but I am not here to contribute to a conversation around a fear of aging, never getting any wrinkles, being terrified of fine lines. Aging is a normal natural process, but I think there's some really great underrated ways of preventing premature damage in your skin that are very simple and easy to do, and I'm super excited to get into them. So just a disclaimer. So I've already talked about premature aging in so many videos, right? I typically recommend retinol, exfoliation, skincare products and treatments that will be able to help target that concern. But these are tips and recommendations that I don't see enough people talking about that are very important when it comes to preventing it. And this is definitely the most obvious one that I reinforce in a lot of my videos, but I want to reinforce it again because I don't hear enough people talking about it. Sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I know I talk about it a lot, but it really is the most important thing when it comes to preventing premature aging. Sun damage is responsible for 90% of premature aging alone. The sun hates our skin. What can I say? And I know, I know, I have heard every excuse under the sun, under the sun. <laughs> my puns are always accidental. What is up with that? I don't like wearing sunscreen. It feels like a chore. It leaves my skin looking too white. It feels too heavy on my skin. I don't want to do an extra step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, as someone who has tested out many of sunscreens, I totally get it. But there are some really good ones out there that you definitely shouldn't ignore. And these are my top three sunscreens I recommend to people that hate wearing sunscreen because they're just, ugh, they're so good. First up, the Cynic SPF 50 sunscreen. It's a Korean formula that feels so lightweight on the skin. It works for any skin tone. There's absolutely no white cast because it utilizes innovative Korean sunscreen filters. That and unfortunately you can't really find in the USA, but are amazing at protecting your skin from the sun. This sunscreen, I cannot sing enough praises to. It is such an amazing, elegant, luxury filling formula, but for a really affordable price point. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have all the products that I'm talking about today listed in the description box below. A similar formula that has gone really viral on TikTok, the Beauty of Joseon SPF 50 formula. Oh, wow, this one's so good. Especially if you lean a little bit more on the drier side, you'll love this sunscreen. It's super lightweight, absolutely no white so it works for any skin tone. I take this one to the beach with me, on hikes, pretty much wherever I go. And then finally, if you do want a sunscreen that is here in the USA, the Bliss Bloxar SPF 30 sunscreen has been one of my favorites, if not my favorite sunscreen for a year, two years, it's been a long time. It's a tinted formula that does an amazing job of mattifying the skin, so if you do have more oily skin, highly recommend it. But regardless of whatever sunscreen you use, it is so important that you are applying it every day. And the problem is, is that I see so many people recommending skin treatments and retinol, exfoliation, Botox fillers, but they never really talk about sunscreen, which is way better because if you just wear sunscreen every single day, you're not going to have to worry about undoing the damage in your skin by getting Botox and fillers. Not to hate on Botox and fillers, but it's much cheaper to get a $20 sunscreen than it is to get a $500 Botox treatment. Period. Number two, this one is a hard one for me to talk about, but it is sore, sore important in preventing premature aging, and that's sleep. Good old boring sleep. The thing I'm gonna do right after filming this video, which is part of the reason I wanted to film the video in my bed. Getting enough sleep every single night is crazy important. And I know that might seem a little bit obvious, but some people <laughs> are really bad about being consistent with a good sleep schedule. And please learn from my example of what not to do. Try and get enough sleep every single night. I have seen study after study after study showing the link between a lack of sleep and poor skin in every capacity, but specifically when it comes to premature aging, losing hours of sleep will speed up the process of your skin aging so quickly. Instead 
Insufficient sleep is directly linked to an increase in aging and lack of skin cell regeneration, which is the process of our skin creating brand new baby skin cells that look fresh and baby and new. And even some studies out there have shown that just by losing one hour of sleep, your skin already suffers the consequences and it speeds up that aging process. So I know it might seem like a chore and I will admit it took me a long time to learn this lesson. I am only now getting like a regularly, okay, semi-regular sleep schedule. And it's something I wish I did earlier because I definitely see the consequences in my own skin. Definitely focus on that if you want to prevent premature aging. And I don't really see a lot of people talking about the importance of sleep, at least in the skincare world. I think it's a conversation that we definitely need to be having more often. Number three, how you sleep definitely has an impact on the way that your skin ages. I am someone who is a side sleeper. I used to sleep on my back, but because I snore, I switched to my side. And honestly, that probably wasn't the best decision because for years, six to eight hours every night, my face is squished up against my pillow being dragged back and forth. And that's just not the best for helping to prevent unnecessary wrinkles on the face. Think about it. If you're spending eight hours with your face being smushed up against the pillow and being tugged back and forth, it's probably not going to be great for your skin and definitely increase the appearance of dynamic wrinkles on your face, which are the type of wrinkles that come from making expressions, moving your face around a lot and having your face stretched to its max on your pillow. Which is why today's video sponsor comes into play with the Omnia pillow from Sleep and Glow. I started using the Sleep and Glow pillow a few months ago, not only to prevent unnecessary wrinkle development while I'm sleeping, but also because I'm a side sleeper. I was a little bit skeptical at first because I was like, it's a pillow, but oh my gosh, it is really nice, particularly for me as a side sleeper. I really enjoy sleeping on it. Here, let me just show you how it works. Okay guys, so this is the Omnia Sleep and Glow pillow. And as you can see, it has a different shape than a normal pillow. This pillow was developed by orthopedists and it has memory foam to adjust to the contours of your face. And I love memory foam pillows. They're so freaking comfortable. And they're both on either side, depending on which side you do sleep on. Let me demonstrate. So with a normal pillow, right? Your face is squished, skin being tugged around. Just look at me. Beautiful. Definitely not as comfortable and pulling and tugging on the face. Versus the Sleep and Glow pillow because of the contours, when I lay on it, literally this whole side of my face is untouched, but it still feels super comfortable. And I don't have to worry about pulling, tugging, creasing on my face because literally look at my skin. I'm like fully pressing into the pillow. Literally my face is untouched. As I adjust my head, it doesn't touch my face. So, ugh, my voice. So freaking cool, but most importantly, and the reason I fell in love with it, it's just so comfortable. I've started to see a little bit of a conversation around how sleeping does contribute to the way that your skin ages. But to be honest, I don't see enough people talking about it and the logic is really there. And I think anything that supports not only a more comfortable sleeping pattern, but anything that also reduces the amount of tugging on your skin while you sleep, I think it's great. Sleep and Glow has a 30 night sleep trial with a money back guarantee and a three year warranty for the pillow. But one of my favorite things about it is that the pillow lasts five years. That is a long time. And if you calculate the amount of pillows I've had to purchase over the last five years, this is way cheaper than that. So if you want to check out the Omnia pillow, you can go to the link in my description box. Thank you so much Sleep and Go for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for always supporting my sponsorships. As you guys know, I am very, very particular about the brands that I work with. So I always appreciate the support from you guys. Number four, yet another one that no one really talks about. And and to be honest, I don't really think anyone wants to talk about it because we're all kind of guilty. So this will be fun. Stress reduction. I know we don't want to talk about it. I'm definitely guilty of this, but stress is a huge contributor to aging. Stress increases cortisol. Cortisol increases aging. It's really not that complicated math. I think a lot of us don't want to focus on this one because it's really difficult to find a product that will reduce stress. And I'm definitely not here to recommend a product for that, but practicing more mindfulness to help reduce stress in your body is very important, not only for your mental health, but also for helping to prevent premature aging. I personally known so many people who see a rapid increase in fine lines and aging prematurely on their skin because of their extremely stressful lifestyle. And this is something I constantly need to remind myself of because I I'm definitely prone to, you know, being stressed the f out all the time. But this year I've made an active effort to focus more on mindfulness, which for me, that comes in the form of spending more time in nature, meditating, doing breath work, things I've really noticed help to reduce the amount of internal stress I'm experiencing and consequently also help improve my skin. In some of the most stressful and chaotic times of my life, I've looked at my skin and noticed that it is just bad. And obviously this is so much easier said than done. I wish there was like a magic pill out there that you could take that just takes all of your stress and worries away, but that's just not how life works. So if nothing else helps you get out of an environment that's really stressful, just think about the premature aging. <laughs> the wrinkles ain't worth it, girl. Number five, I really wish I started doing this earlier and it's really simple, but if you're kind of as ignorant as me, you may not have known how helpful this is. Sunglasses. Let me explain. I've always been someone that never wears sunglasses because 
Well, every time I try to buy sunglasses, I always end up losing them within a few days. But sunglasses can be really helpful for preventing premature aging because you know those dynamic wrinkles that I was talking about earlier? If you're constantly squinting your eyes to be able to see on sunny days, see when you drive, or just when you're out and about, that definitely will rapidly increase the dynamic wrinkles you see on your under eye area. And not that it's bad to have under eye wrinkles, I definitely have some, but I wish I would have known earlier how much just wearing sunglasses helps prevent unnecessary squinting. That is largely responsible for the wrinkles that I have under my eyes. It's such a simple trick, but I always see so many people talking about like eye creams, very expensive eye cream formulas with the fanciest of ingredients. And in reality, I think wearing sunglasses is a much better way of preventing the problem in the first place. And something that's so simple. These are the sunglasses I wear. I've sat on them many times, so when I have them properly on, they're like super crooked. <laughs> Get into it. But literally anytime I'm driving or outside, I will always be wearing sunglasses just to prevent unnecessary squinting and it also helps with eye strain and if you have sensitive eyes like me sunglasses are so helpful for that it's just a no-brainer and honestly I was the person who was buying unnecessarily expensive eye creams way before I started regularly wearing sunglasses so it's such a simple hack maybe it's obvious to a lot of people but it definitely wasn't to me okay so you know how I said I have five tips I actually have six this is honestly a bonus one but if you do this you are actively destroying your skin and it is so important that you stop doing this immediately if you want to prevent premature aging tanning beds or just going out and tanning. I don't know why tanning beds are still a thing. In my opinion, they should be banned because they are so bad for you. They age your skin so rapidly, drastically increase the risk of skin cancer. I get the temptation of wanting to look extra tan, bronzed, kissed by the summer sun, but it just makes your skin age so prematurely and really it's just not worth it. Honestly, I would so rather recommend using an artificial tanning product. This isn't the 90s anymore where you'll come out looking orange. There's so many good artificial tanning products out there, many of which I have used, that are very natural, get you that sun-kissed look, but without all the skin damage. I guess that one might seem a little bit random, but I am surprised by how many people still use tanning beds to this day, and I'm just, ugh. And finally, I just want to end this video by saying I always want to be very sensitive when it comes to the conversation around aging, because I never want to contribute to a fear around getting old. Terror you see so much online of getting wrinkles. Everyone's going to age. Everyone's going to get wrinkles. It's inevitable it's going to happen and I don't think we should be contributing to a fear or expectation that no one should have wrinkles and that you should be terrified of them but I do think it's important to do what you can to prevent premature aging because premature aging is a sign of skin damage and I think when it comes to skincare it's all about skin health taking care of yourself making sure your skin is at its most healthy state and premature aging is only going to speed up the process of your skin becoming unnecessarily damaged and you can do such simple easy things to prevent that it's all about skin health it's not about a fear of getting older. Do you guys have any tips or recommendations that have helped you when it comes to preventing premature aging? I would love to hear about them. I always love to have these conversations with you guys. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I am going to go to bed and focus on that beauty sleep to help prevent the premature aging that I'm talking about. So good night, y'all.